Hi guys, uh, welcome to another CryptApp tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about proxies and how to set up and use proxy files. Okay, um, so this is just a simple shot which I've got, and we've got some footage which I've shot by here of this sign. Now you can see that this footage is HD, so 1920 by 1080 pixels. Um, you can see that by double clicking on the read node as well and looking at the format, and our project settings are also the same. Now you'll notice if we just get rid of this node first of all you'll notice in our project settings that we've got something called proxy mode proxy scale read proxy files um, and also if you click this button up here if you hover over it says toggle proxy mode to compute at full or lower resolution now i'm going to explain to you what a proxy is a proxy is basically if it's if the footage or the shot has been quite intensive on your GPU or, or your computer or your CPU or whatever your computer is running slow um, what you can do is by clicking this proxy mode by here you can actually preview a lower resolution of the file it's very similar to an After Effects when you go to resolution at the bottom and you can turn it to a third a half or a quarter or whatever so it's basically the same idea right so if I click this um, you'll notice if you look at the numbers by here, off it's 1920 by 1080. If we click this, it turns red and we're 960 by 540. Also notice that proxy mode down in here, when I turn this on and off, this becomes ticked. Okay, so it's the same thing. So I can tick it on and off down here and the red at the top will come on. So what, it's, what the software is telling us at the moment, I've got proxy mode on. So I'm viewing this at a lower resolution and the proxy mode is dictated by scale. Okay, so essentially, if you were to do the maths, you've got 1920 by 1080, 960 and 540 is half of that. So we know it's easy to work out 540 is half of 1080. And the reason that's happening is in our proxy mode, we're saying scale, and that scale is 0.5. So have a look at these numbers now when I drag this down to 0.2, for example. You can see the basically we're dictating the size of this proxy with this scale so if we put it to 0 0.1 we're down to 192 by 10 by 108 so 1920 by 1080 but a tenth of that is 192 108 okay so you can dictate your proxy on scale all right with the scale slider but if you click down here in proxy mode you've also got something called format what you can do if i click format we've got another layout the input format is 1920 by 1080, but you can also select another one from this list. So, for example, if I went to, um, yeah, let's just go to PAL, for example, you now notice 720 by 510 because we're previewing it at 720 by 576. And there's, you know, pixel stuff going on here, stretching the pixels to fit. So, to be honest, I never use this because, again, if you went to square 1K, you've got all this stuff on the side and because of the ratio of 1920 by 1080 being 6 by 9 you haven't actually got a square piece of footage 1024 by 1024 because having to have to it's basically stretch in this footage to fit that square so i never use proxy format unless let's say 1920 by 1080 comes in if i've got like an sd version set up in here then i will but normally i use scale or there is an additional mode, okay? So let's turn that back to scale because that's just the easiest. Um, you've got proxy mode, you can turn it on and off and you can dictate this by the scale. That's the best way to do it if you're gonna do it without a file. But you've also got down here, read proxy files. Within here, you've got a list. So you've got always, if nearest, if larger, or never. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to use a second image sequence as a proxy, okay? So let's just turn this back to 0.5 because that's its default. If I click on, double click on my read node, it opens up in here. And this is what my file is. It's importing this HD 1080, 920 by 1080 file, sign shot, TIFF sequence. I've also got this proxy down here so I can also read in a second piece of footage. Okay, and what I've done is within um, footage, I've got, this is my sign shot, which is the image sequence, but I've also got a proxy folder. Okay, and basically these images are one, no, a quarter of the size. So I can go to here and I can read in the second image sequence. It's the exact same shot, but it's just a lower, it's not 1920 by 1080. We'll see what it is now. I can't remember the exact numbers. If I click open, it's coming in 480 by 270, which is a quarter the size of this. 
Okay, so we've loaded in our proxy file. This is our full quality file by here, our high, highest quality. And now we've loaded in a proxy file. So if I just collapse this, what, what we've got here is read proxy file. So when proxy mode is on, I've also labeled it with proxy sequence so you can actually tell. Um, when we turn this on, proxy mode on, if there's any proxy files in the read node, which we know there is, um, let's collapse that again. What is what, what this is saying down here is always use the proxy files which are reading in through the read node. But we can also change this. So if we hover over, what Nuke will do is it'll explain them each to us. So never, so never will always use the full file size. So if we change this to never, right, what it's doing is Let's open up our read node over here. Let's double click this. Right, so what it's doing when it's set to never, it's still reading in this full quality file, but we just, like before, we can lower that in the software ourselves, okay? If we say always, we're using the secondary file, the one that's labeled, and again, we can alter that with scale as well to kind of work with what we want to work with. Now, if we hover over, the if larger, That'll say use smaller file, which is our proxy file. So use smaller file if it is larger or equal to the scaled size. Okay. So I know that the proxy file that I rendered out was 0 0.25 in terms of scale because it was a quarter the size of the original. So if larger, use the smaller file size if it is larger or equal to the scaled size. So let's change it if larger. And what you'll notice is when I come above 0.25, it jumps to this shot. And you can tell that because the label of proxy sequence, which I rendered onto the actual images, is gone. So if larger, if you come below 0.25, it'll use the proxy. But if you go above, it's going to use that um, original shot. Okay. So yeah, and if nearest as well, if you hover over that one. Um, oh. Pick the file closest to the scaled size. So whichever file is closest to the scale size in here, it uses that. But yeah, that's basically, to be honest, when I use this, I either don't read in a proxy and I just use the scale. So I'll either set this to never and I'll just use this original file and alter it with the scale. Or if I do use a proxy, which I'm reading in, a lower an image sequence of a lower quality. I'll just keep this to always, to be honest. Um, it's either one of the two for me. That's personally how I work. But yeah, that's essentially proxies explained. Um, you'll want to make sure that when you render, you just turn this proxy off and we'll go back to using the original file, which is this full 1920 by 1080. So I really hope you learned something there. Um, it can be really useful when your computer's running slow, um, but when you want to check your actual VFX shot, it's best to always go um, with the highest file size to check things are working together. So really hope you learned something. Um, drop a comment of what you want to see next. Um, give a like and a subscribe if it helped. And I shall see you in a future video.